Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Did Bursa outperform the Daniel H9 and the new Staccato P at SHOT Show? So let's talk about it because there has been so much buzz about Daniel Defense and the H9. They, they bought the patents from Hudson and they made it better, so I'm told. And that recoil reduction system is very attractive to a lot of people. But to review it, and I've gotten many questions asking, are you going to review that when you are at SHOT? Or how come you didn't review the H9? You have to understand something. When you go to SHOT, I try to get to the booths that are not super crowded. In the past, I would oftentimes go in a back room to get a little more special review, not with a bunch of people around or have the rep for the company do the review while I would sit, sit back and ask questions. That to me does not make for a good review. If I had my chance to get my hands on the H9, I certainly would do that. I would love to check it out. But when I checked out the Hudson and I did take that to the range, it just didn't excite me as much as some of the other handguns that are available out there. It just didn't do it. So what Daniel did to it may excite me, but I'm going to wait till I can either get my hands on one. I have no plans of purchasing it at this time, but if a friend of mine gets it or there's some way to get it, I will certainly review it. And I think I would enjoy it. And I'm sure they made it better than the original Hudson H9. As for Staccato, when you go to a trade show, whether it's SHOT Show or NRA, the Staccato booth is extremely crowded. And when you go there to make a decent video to show the followers of YouTubers' channels, it is very difficult to do. And I don't mind when people are lurking around or they're giggling while you're doing it. I don't mind that at all. I've gotten past that years ago. But there's one thing specifically that I know about the viewers of this channel. And that is they want to look at and potentially purchase firearms that they can afford. Not to say you're cheap. It's just that most of us are very careful with our money. We can't go out and spend $2,500 on the new Staccato or $1,300 on the Daniel H9. Or they choose not to. So did Bursa outperform those two handguns? In my estimation, they did. They came out with something new. They, they didn't take an old pattern and, and make it their own. They didn't take the new Staccato P and not change it too much from what they already offer. But Bursa came out with a full-size BP-9. They came out with a subcompact double stack 9mm. These are all optic ready with tritium sights and decent magazine capacity. They came out with suppressors. They came out with drop-in triggers for rifles. They came out with a lot of stuff. Now, in terms of SHOT Show, yes, the H9 and the Staccato P definitely outperformed Bursa. There were people rushing there with their cameras and phones to take pictures on Instagram. They definitely outperformed Bursa. When I went to the Bursa booth, which was tucked back behind where you could hardly see it at Caesars Forum, I said, hey, is anybody over here reviewing this? Because this is really something. They said, not too many, not too many at all. And I said, well, this is going to be the only video I do because it's not super loud. I'm not in the crowds of people trying to get something just to get those quick hits. And I wanted to show you guys because Bursa prices them in the um, working man's budget and they are made in the U.S. now which is very attractive to many buyers. They want U.S. products, and Bursa is doing that. So in my eyes, Bursa did outperform the Daniel H9 and the Staccato P. Did they do it at SHOT Show? No, they didn't, but they actually offered things that you have not seen before, and that is what I look at. You know, I, I typically say, what would I want to see if I was on the viewer's end of a video and that is what I wanted to see as well as the new Ber uh, Berettas. Bursa Beretta kind of a tongue twister when you talk about them in the same 
line of sentencing, but the new Berettas are super cool. The new Bursas are super cool. I made some great contacts, loved it, but I was only there for one day, so I want to talk more about this in a live stream tomorrow night on Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I hope to see you there. We could talk about it, do a little shot show wrap up as well as some other things because with all the videos going out with Shot Show, I know a lot of people are fed up with it and they're just not quality videos. And so when I see some of these things, I can only stand to watch it for 30 seconds and that's really not what I'm looking for when you guys tune in. I wanna give you a good quality video and I think I was able to do that with the Bursa. I would not have been able to do it with the Daniel H9 or the new Staccato. So I hope that answers some questions. And I hope to see all you guys tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern, Eastern Standard Time on the TFG channel. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.